One of my most memorable experiences when I lived on the space station was uh, one of our tasks to, on the space station was to incorporate a new module on the space station, the Node 2. And uh, to do that, we had to do some spacewalks. We call them extravehicular activities, EVA. So we had to do, Peggy and I had to do three EVAs to go outfit and uh, put all the things that, uh, to connect the new module on the outside of the space station. So one of the biggest things we had to do was interrupt the cooling line that goes all around the space station. And this cooling line takes heat from the hot things and it puts them on the radiators and chills them down. And without those cooling loops, you would lose half your power because you'd have to turn all the electrical stuff off. And our job was to make that loop bigger. But to do that, you had to, you had to open the loop. You had to stop the flow in one of the loops and then uh, use uh, pipes and jumpers to create the extension of the loop. And it's really nerve wracking because we knew that as soon as we disconnected that loop, uh, that the coolant couldn't flow. And now the timeline was going. And if we couldn't get that thing hooked up in time, we were going to really endanger the station. But we made all the connections that had to be made all around uh, the outside. And I, it was my job to open the valve finally and let the coolant flow through the new, newly large loop. And I remember holding the valve, opening it up with my gloved hand, and it's a really hard press. And you push it open, and whoosh, I could feel the ammonia flowing through the valve in my hand. And I knew that we had done our job and, and uh, allowed the coolant to flow through the new, longer loop, and we didn't screw it up because that's the biggest worry for an astronaut is screwing up our job. But we did a good job and we were able to do it to both loops and then uh, that allowed the space station to grow and accept more laboratory modules.